this video, we'll introduce playback within Mouseflow. This is where you'll actually play recordings of visitors that are on your site. To get started, use the menu up here to select which website you want to work on. From there, select Recordings in the left-hand menu. You'll be taken to the recording list, which we covered in a previous video, but to actually play a session, all we need to do is click the play icon over on the right, or actually click anywhere in the row, like here for example. This will open the playback window, and we can actually see the session load in real time. Now I won't move my mouse, but we can see all the user's activity actually as it occurred on the site. The user is now closing a pop-up and it looks like the pop-up didn't close so maybe we actually have a bug on our site and that's something I want to pay attention to. I'm going to go ahead and hit pause. Let's take a look at what is actually showing here on the screen. When I mouse over the timeline you'll notice here in the upper left hand corner that there's a key that appears. There's different colors assigned to different user events or actions that happen. Red indicates mouse movement and scrolling, yellow indicates click and tap, green indicates form interaction, and black is inactivity. So just looking at this timeline, we can see there was some mouse movement and scrolling here, some inactivity where nothing happened here, a little bit more mouse movement and scrolling, same here, then we actually had click or tap activity, and we then continued on through. This makes it easy just to know what to pay attention to as you're playing a session. You'll also notice off on the right there's various keyboard shortcuts that you can use. This player is a pretty similar and familiar player to what you might be used to on your own computer. We have the duration here. We can also go to the previous page or go to the next page, as well as speed up the recording. I'll go ahead and click play, and I'm going to increase the speed to two times instead. So now everything will replay twice as fast. You'll notice that mouse cursor that's moving in the center of the screen. That's the user's cursor highlighted in yellow. If we see that click activity, we see the little red target icons as well. Now maybe I saw something interesting and I want to go back. I can simply hit previous page and back we are. I can also jump to another point in the timeline if I want as well. I'll go ahead and hit pause. Over here in this drop-down, we get a full breakdown of the pages that the user viewed. If I ever want to jump to a specific page, I can simply click, and the recording will automatically take me to that point in the session. Over here, I can click to toggle the detail drawer as well. This contains much of the same information that was actually shown in the recording list about the user. We can see the location, IP address if enabled, any visitor name or identification details, the device, language, ISP, as well as the refer, start time, and total duration, and any tags or variables. You can even add your own here. In case I saw something interesting that I want to go analyze later, I could maybe star this recording to bookmark it as well. Similar to the recording list, we have a drop-down here that allows you to add your own tags, identify a visitor, edit variables, share or download this recording, or delete it. You can also go to the page and question yourself, or if you have any questions or need anything, contact our support at any time. Now, if you already have Mouseflow established at your company and multiple users have their own login, you can actually share the URL to this recording by simply copying it from your browser window. However, if you want to share a recording with somebody outside of your company who does not have access to Mouseflow, you would need to mark the recording as shared or actually download the file in order for them to see it. 